Guys, welcome back to some more house flip up. And uh, today we're doing something a little different, uh, different than usual, which is usually I play the game and commentate at the same time. But today we cannot do that because unfortunately your boy ran into a huge creative block and I just could not get anything done. So what I'm trying to say is I, I goofed, okay? I was trying to decorate this home and for the life of me, I could not get anything right. I could not decorate it the way I wanted to and things were just not working. Uh, later on, I will show you guys how much money I've actually spent on a furniture and <laughs> and how much I actually sold uh, as far as furniture goes and it'll be crazy. But anyway, uh, we're decorating this home and going into this home, this flip, I wanted to really target this older couple that you see at the top of your left the, underneath the uh, guy with the blonde hair. I really wanted to target them. Uh, I was in my tablet just exploring the game and I stumbled across buyer profiles and in the buyer profiles, they show you, you know, what each buyer is looking for, etc., etc. So I wanted to honestly sell to them because you know they're an older couple looking for a small home looking for somewhere where they can retire basically so i wanted to decorate it like that so when you see me decorate this place it's not going to be the most modern look as you see we got that old grandma table in our quote unquote kitchen nook uh and these old ugly chairs you know what I'm saying? stuff that you would probably see at your grandparents or your great grandparents home uh if you got it like that you know what i'm saying so this is what we're going for. And honestly, the space kind of threw me off. You know, I'm glad I took that wall down that was separating the kitchen and the living room area or the living area, the dining area, wherever you want to call it, because it's not a room. <laughs> it's not a living room. It's a living area. So I'm glad I took that wall down because this would have been even harder to decorate. But um, I'm not going to lie to you. I had a huge creative block and i had to go look on google at some references uh so I, you see me standing back looking at this table and these chairs very proud of myself because i actually accomplished something so i really had a hard time looking through this tablet um finding stuff because it's all named differently than what i'm accustomed to the names actually being like i was looking for dining room table uh stove y'all saw me messing up trying to find this stove earlier and special shout out to shay sanders she actually put me on game and told me where this stove slash oven was because it for some reason I, I'm, I'm not sure i guess the developers aren't american so you know it was just hard for me to go through this tablet and find the things that i'm used to you know i'm accustomed to calling things you know so it was that was kind of difficult for me so i wasted a lot of time while i was recording this looking just looking for stuff like i was trying to look for like a lazy boy like a sofa like one of those armchairs things like that uh that you'll see me i, I mean well you're probably not going to see me put it in there because i think i just cut all of that stuff actually yes so i it took me forever to find these chairs bro like obviously things are categorized but i was just trying to type it in so i can get there quickly when yeah that didn't work out but you see me right here i'm trying to decorate this space and then i end up just selling it all back of course at a lower price than what i actually bought it at which sucks but as you see right here i put the tv up with the pictures i tried to decorate because shay also informed me that you do get more money for the more furniture and decorations that you put up but i took the tv out because it just didn't feel right it did i don't know at first i was like you know what i'm not gonna put a tv in here and then i was like you know i'm gonna put a tv in here and if they want to watch tv then they'll just sit in the little kitchen nook area and watch tv but i had to realize outside of my culture outside of the way that i grew up people actually do not have tvs in their living room which is crazy to me but it's, it's like that i've actually been to homes where there were not tvs in the living room because i guess people just don't value watching tv they rather read books etc etc so i had to open my mind to that and that's what we came with now the bedroom also challenged me as well because i really tried to match the bedroom the headboard the frame with all of the other furniture but at one point at, at a certain point i was just like you know what f it I'm not going to be able to match everything 
with everything and i guess that was that's good because you don't really want the room to look too boring uh having everything to match so eventually i went with the white book uh the white bedside table and um a white dresser as we like to call it but they call it drawer on here and of course some greenery to put in there to liven up the room make it look more natural to make it look more i don't know what's the word <laughs> what's the word i'm looking for here i'm not sure but I'm gonna go ahead and go through a tour of the home so you can see it. We're gonna start with the outside garden, as they like to call it. We all we call it in the south the yard. Your boy cut the grass. Um, that's glitching back there on that white fence back there, but it the grass is cut. I did not chop down any other trees because I don't have the chainsaw slash uh, wood cutter, whatever they would like to call it in here. So here's our original living space, our dining room space, whatever you like to call it. And we transformed it, the white walls, we took a wall down to separate, uh, that separated the kitchen from the living area. And this is the furniture, the furniture, I said, I said furnished, furnished <laughs> living area, living space, nice for the older couple. Now we go into the one and only bedroom. This is what it looked like when we bought it, trashed out, the paint just rotted, the plaster, I guess that's what it was. And then this is the white walls, the clean, the, the wood floor. And we just left all that wood flooring in there and we just made it look real natural, really beautiful. I actually like the way that the, uh, the plant works with that dark wood of the of the bed on the headboard and then the white accessories on the side and then this is our dirty nasty kitchen we did leave some things next time i know now if there's an oven or a stove in that kitchen i'm just going to leave that oven and that stove in the kitchen as well as all that stuff and then this is a slow down version of the kitchen because i just kind of zoomed past it uh, as I was walking through the house the first time, but you see, we got our utensil holder up there, some knives. I left the recipe book in there for the old couple, just in case they don't cook or they don't use seasoning when they cook. <laughs> this is the bathroom. Nothing much really changed in the bathroom. Um, I did add a toilet paper roll and uh, some more greenery and a painting of a waterfall to help, you know, get the water out of them. <laughs> And it is the next day that I'm recording this. It's time to finally go ahead and sell our first flipper. Now, it stinks because yesterday I was recording us actually decorating. So what you just heard me do is all like post recorded from the actual recordings, but yeah, y'all don't care about any of that. Let's go ahead and see what kind of profit do we actually get? So these are our two own homes and here's the abandoned home. I actually discovered this yesterday when I was supposed to re-record anyway. <laughs> You see, we bought the house for $37,692.91. The time spent in this home is three hours. Now, that, I don't know, that's a lot to me. I don't know, if you play this game or you plan on playing this game, tell me, do you think three hours is too long? Or if you have played this game, how? what's your like shortest amount of time actually flipping a home? And did you get a good profit from it? I, I wanna know that. So you see, we bought, 121 items but we sold 93 that's that that was my problem this whole time i was just buying furniture and putting it in and then it, i didn't use it so i would sell it back but yeah what i was saying in my live come when i was actually decorating the home the other day was that i wish there was a way that you could preview the furniture and then if you wanted to buy it then there would be like another option to actually buy it instead of having to buy it put it in places not liking it and then selling it maybe there is something like that and i don't know about it you guys let me know we got 16 items mounted 15 items destroyed three panels laid trash we got all the trash out everything's clean six out of six items mounted nine out of nine windows clean two out of two cockroach nests destroyed and 100 percent of the weeds removed and you saw i cut the grass as well now the house price again thirty seven thousand six hundred ninety two penalty for canceling the auction we haven't even started the auction renovation costs was 88 dollars and 36 cents so I'm, I'm assuming that's paint costs uh, uh what that's probably it paint costs let me know down in the comments section if i'm way off furniture bought bro look at this almost four thousand dollars worth of furniture bought that's crazy right because 
if you think about it, furniture is only like what the most is like 400. I don't think any anything in there is over a thousand dollars, right? Look how much we sold four thousand one hundred and ninety eight dollars, right? Huh? <laughs> so like, don't even think about like the lamps that we sold from the lamps that were already in there, uh, the the sofas, the beds, whatever, the 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 drawers that were already in there that we sold. Don't even consider that, bro. Consider the fact that I've been putting a lot of stuff in there and then just buying it back because I didn't like it. And the garden costs or the garden contest, we didn't do the garden contest. So we made zero dollars from that. So it's looking like so far out of these numbers that we're actually doing pretty good as far as spending from the house. So let's go to the house and we'll look at the house one last time. I, I tried to get some clips from what I already recorded before to show you guys the before and after. But again, here is the garden. This is, this is the house. And you guys, again, rate me one out of 10. 10 being the highest, how do you feel about our flip? Here's a, a nice view of the kitchen. Um, I, I had to slow down the clip, but here's an actual view of the kitchen, uh, the backyard. We left the trees up because I actually, I haven't gotten my chainsaw just yet or the wood cutter or whatever they call it in this game. But yeah, this is the house. I'm ready to go ahead and get this first flipper out of the way. Let's go ahead and press enter. We're gonna put the house on the auction. All right, so the house price you see, renovation costs, furniture bought, furniture sold, and let's see what we're getting. Okay, we're in the 40s already, and it looks like our highest is gonna be $45,574.36. Three rooms are perfect. It's a shame that there is no place for our books here. All right, so we were missing a bookshelf, and then you got perfect one and only one bedroom. Art is just as important as education. Okay, let's see what everybody else didn't like. One bedroom is enough for me. I like to have a TV in every room. So Jimmy likes TVs like I wanted. I wanted to put a TV in the living room, but I deleted that. Anyway, Dolan, who actually was the highest bidder for the longest time, uh, he said, exactly, just one bedroom, perfect. I need a separate office. Okay, yeah, bro. I don't know where you're gonna get no office from. Uh, <laughs> there is no private space, only for myself. Huh? That's what a bedroom is for, brother. Raphael, you trip it. Chang Choi. Wow, what a <laughs> what a horrible name. There is no place for my books. Okay. Uh, tenants value to bathrooms. Okay, so he's a renter. I don't understand what I need this kitchen for. Huh? <laughs> okay. So we could negotiate. Our profit is eight thousand one hundred eighty-one dollars. Um, that's not bad. I'm not sure what other people profits are you guys tell me what your profits are uh, but for right now we're not going to refuse this offer or negotiate even though I do have um, a nice negotiation uh, upgrade in our kit I think for our first home 8,000 is nice it's a nice profit I'm sure we could probably could have got more if we went and bought so much furniture and we actually had uh, a real plan going into it but we are f selling it to the Jan Tart Jan Tart Jan Art Jan Art however you want to pronounce it we're selling it to the people that I originally wanted to sell it to anyway um, they're actually coming in what 1,000 like roughly $1,000 over the second bidder so we're gonna go ahead and press spacebar and accept that offer. Hey, we did it. We sold it. What's your impression after the first auction? If you would like to check some buyer's details before the next one, I save your notes. Okay. So we, yeah. So guys, we did it. <laughs> we did it. And now you can see our account balance is $74,348.15 cents from that flip uh we will be purchasing some more land i don't know i think it's time that we we move on up you know i think we get this fifty-eight thousand dollar home house after flood and i think we're gonna flip that house next and then what we'll probably do is just make make our way making our way downtown <laughs> make our way to of course the final one the alone home or home alone you see what they trying to do here this mansion for four hundred thirty-seven thousand. but i hope you guys did enjoy it 
If you did, make sure you guys leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe, turn on post notifications if you are new to the channel and you want to see some more house flipper content just like this. And I got you. But until my next video, peace, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.